How many gunfights have you lost to those zigzagging, 180 degree spinning, no recoil having merciless jerks? I've been told I am one of those sweatbag tryhards and I'm going to give you the controller settings you need to win more gunfights and hearts. Welcome to Norway. You are in the drop zone and I am Jealous Fist. Yes, I am. And today, we're talking tactics, which allows to outthink, outplay, and outperform your opposition. Jealous Fist here, your number one airdrops retrieved all time, all systems, and an official bigger partner. This settings and controller tips video, as well all forthcoming content, is brought to you by JealousFist.com. Shirts now, info soon, more gear incoming. Check it out. It's the best website in the video game business. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This video will be broken down into three sections. The first section will be showing my basic and advanced Vigor game settings. Second, my Elite Series 2 controller settings. And the third, some tips and advice on shooting and aiming. Be aware these settings are what works for me and will not be great for you, but are a fantastic starting point. I recommend you copy them and then go straight into the firing range and see if getting on target and moving your weapon around feels too slow or too fast. If it feels too fast, then adjust the third person aim axes to the left, the lower number. If it feels too slow, then adjust the third person aim axes to the right, the higher number. As you can see now, and will later, I prefer to keep both my axes at the same number so that things move at the same speed in every direction while aiming. Some players do prefer to have it different though. Turn your vibration off. No check mark. I don't care if you like it, it does throw your accuracy off slightly and every bit of advantage helps. I have my aim inversion off, my aim button on hold, my sprint button is on toggle. Those three settings are personal preference but I will note that if you play a lot, as do I, then if you're holding sprint button all day every day you might get a sore thumb. Definitely have experienced that myself. I set my third person aim sensitivity to 65 which is slightly faster than most but in conjunction with the shorter thumbsticks I use is fairly responsive. I keep my first person aim sensitivity on 25. Um, sometimes I've gone a little higher, sometimes a little lower. Generally right now the way my controller is set up I'm keeping it at 25. Heading over into advanced controls. Turn your aim assist off. No check mark there. Everything I'm showing you today is much less effective and will make you lose more gunfights if you don't turn aim assist off. What it's supposed to do is stick to people's heads and help you get kills, but instead it slows down your gun's movement and hinders your target acquisition and aiming. Plus it makes it harder for you to roll with all the secret stealth updates to weapons and their recoil. It also causes latency in gunfights and it does make it harder for you to kill certain players. The following settings should be copied in whole I would recommend. Set your move inner dead zone to 20% and your move outer dead zone to 85%. Set your move exponent all the way left to 1.0. Both axes of your aim ramp up at 1.75 times. Set your aim acceleration delay, your aim acceleration time, and your aim acceleration decay all at 0.0. .0. Those are very important. You don't want things artificially slowing down your gun. These next couple settings are absolutely essential to taming the notorious recall we all know and fear and vigor. Set your aim inner dead zone all the way left to 10% and your aim outer dead zone at 75% to the left as well. This will help you. You are welcome indeed because these two settings are the ones that have the most effect on the recoil and the muzzle rise of your weapon. Enjoy that. Put aim exponent to 2.10 and your zoom exponent to 0 .80 and you'll be ready to burn down any man who dares step foot onto any of Norway's good green dirt you deem yours. The Elite Series 2 controller settings are as follows. But first, if you don't have the resources or interest in getting an Elite Controller, but would like the major benefit of having one, which is not having to take one's thumbs off of the sticks all the time, then look up on YouTube how to play Claw Style. Many of the dudes you fear play Claw Style with a standard controller. It's not the gear, it's the man. For my Elite Button configuration, my top buttons, standard buttons, and standard triggers are all default. My trigger's physical stops are set to the shortest, which is fastest, travel, 
My thumbsticks are mechanically tightened down all the way as well. Both my right and left thumbsticks are the shortest concave and flat kind. The round ball topped one is not good for shooting accuracy. My bottom left paddle is set to X button so that it can interact with doors, signals detector, windows, reload my weapon, all without taking my thumb off of the stick. My top left paddle is set to right bumper which allows me to swap weapons and shoulder swap. This is hugely beneficial in gunfights, especially at close quarters point blank ranges. My bottom right paddle is set to B button which allows me to go prone or crouch instantly with no loss of the ability to shoot. My top right paddle is set to A button which allows me to jump around and now that we've been blessed by the gift of jump shotting it's even more powerful. My left trigger is set on the left zone at 0 and the right zone at 100 so I can have some forgiveness and a little bit of slop right there. My right trigger's left dead zone is 0 and the right dead zone is 0. This makes my trigger act as though a full and complete press has happened instantaneous by even tapping the trigger. This is preference. It should probably be set like the left trigger for most people. It's very fast, very responsive, very jumpy. Look at that. You just touch it. You breathe it. You can make it go all the way without even clicking. Listen, no click. Oops. Right there. Oop. Yeah, you get the point. We are getting to the good part now, the thumbsticks. This is where you can really get the advantage in aiming with the right thumbstick. But first, we'll cover the left, which is set to instant sensitivity curve, and the curve adjustment is all the way to the right, the strongest. Going to the left lessens the effect, going to the right increases the effect. The reason I have my left stick on instant is so that as soon as I move my stick forward, my controller is registering me at a full run or a full walk as fast as possible. Every little bit adds up. Look at that, just instantly you are running. Okay, messing with your right thumb stick's sensitivity curve and the curve adjustment in conjunction with the basic and advanced vigor controller settings I showed you earlier is the true power of the Elite Series 2. With practice you can mitigate, sometimes entirely, the changes the devs make to recoil and muzzle rise. This is another reason to turn aim assist off as well. I have mine set to smooth and my adjustment, my curve adjustment, all the way to the right as well. This just works the best for me. Next time you notice the guns you like are slightly off from what they were, go into your right thumbstick curve adjustment and tweak that and see how it feels. Also, depending on my mood and how much sleep I've had, I'll adjust that down within a range of a few clicks if things feel off like I was saying earlier. Generally though, I keep it at the strongest. Some fast aiming tips here. One that's stupid sounding but many people do ignore is practicing in your shelter's firing range while searching games or while tuning in your settings. Shooting in Norway is much like in the real world. It is a perishable skill that must be practiced often. Pre-fire when in gunfights, especially whilst coming out of good hardcover. Latency is a thing in gaming and you want the servers to know you were shooting first so make sure you shoot first and early. Pull the trigger before you think you should and I do mean that. Pull it. <laughs> Pull it before it feels right. If you're attacked, start pulling your trigger at close ranges before you even know where the ambusher is. As long as your gun is swinging towards him and firing, your shots will be on their way at the right time, as far as the servers are concerned. Do not hesitate. You have a time debt. You must be aware of that. When caught out in the open by another guy who's out in the open, start strafing as you fire so you're, so you're a moving target, or you might get a lucky headshot. If you have time and notice your opponent is strafing, trying to break his pattern and go to a different side instead of strafing can be helpful. If you see him in some kind of pattern with his strafing, try to break that pattern is what I'm saying. That's something you have to judge in the moment. Shoot from the hip when firing at a target within 20 meters. Don't use the left trigger when they're that close. For whatever reason, your shots are allowed to register more often that way. If a guy is charging you in a zigzagging movement but not in an erratic manner, shoot the middle of the zag. Think of the middle area as the center of the letter V. Shoot the point of the V. Here's a bonus tip. Even if it's close to the end of the season, as long as you buy the battle pass, you'll still have your progress from it even if the season has ended when that, bas when that battle pass comes back as a legacy season. Wait, you don't have the battle pass right now? Bro, that, that's no good. Here, take this one right there. If you would like to learn more about a huge problem plaguing our game bigger and what you can do to help Norway stay strong, click on that link up there. Also, if you want more codes, I'm going to start randomly hiding them in clips and putting them out on Twitter. At Fist Jealous. 
on Twitter. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share this video out if you liked it. And if you'd like to support this work, head over to jealousfist.com and give me all your money, all of it, even the weird money that's not American, that pretend stuff. And as always, I am your number one airdrops retrieved, 13,000 and counting. Yes, I did. All time, all systems, and your favorite official Vigor partners, favorite official Vigor partner, Jealous Fist. Bye.